Hi, I'm Debbie and welcome to my channel Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for April 24th and 25th, Wednesday and Thursday for my Pisces. Hello my lovely Pisces, how are you? Okay, short reading, so I'm just using my Doreen Virtue Angel Tarot cards. I have prayed, meditated, and infused with Reiki energy, and this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you. Take what you like, leave the rest. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe, and click on, okay, you want to come up? Come on up. And, okay, we've got two that came up. And click on the little bell below. Now, let's see what's going on for my Pisces. My Pisces, I'm feeling some sensitivities there. Um, it could be that you're being more sensitive to the outside energies. And, you know, you do have that, you know, that is something that happens a lot for you. You know, you pick up, you pick up so much. You're kind of like my um, emotional or my empath empathetic sponge. Okay, three cards face down. First card is the Chariot, Archangel Metatron. Now, generally speaking, when the chariot comes, I really feel like there's a lot of things moving forward and that it's very, very fast. But I'm feeling that the message here is going to be more what's, um, it's going to be more important for you. An important achievement, self-discipline and willpower, public recognition. I'm feeling that self-discipline and willpower is going to be really, really needed. Because when, you know, this is Archangel Energy, Archangel Metatron. And in order for him, you know, I mean, he has to have the discipline and willpower to maintain these two horses. These are very too strong, very, you know, going forward. And he needs to be able to continue to go forward. But I'm feeling that that's for you also. And I'm feeling that you do have this archangel energy behind you, that this archangel you're basically keeping you forward. But it's also saying you've got to stay disciplined. You've got to stay focused. You have to keep going forward. Okay, so I'm not quite sure what that's about, if that's on a job. It could even be on your diet, okay? It could just be on your job search. It could be um, going forward with um, just finishing projects around the house, but it's really to keep focused. I'm feeling like, you know, it's like squirrel, okay? So let's see what the next card says. Here we have the Eight of Fire. Fire, of course, being our Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo energy, very consuming energy, very burning energy, very strong energy too. Well, all of the energies are, but this is like gonna, this is like it's gonna push its way through. Have you ever known that one person that just pushes their way through, but then somehow they get what they're supposed to get and nobody really says no to it? That's this type of energy. So events moving at a fast pace, delays are over, many things happening at once. Well, maybe Maybe this is about moving fast. Maybe these two together. You know, when it, when I'm talking about, remember that, like I said, that person, and the person's not necessarily a bully. It's more a person that's, that's just very determined to get what they want to get. And, you know, these, so this could be very um, quick, you know, quick forward moving energies. I still go the back that you need the self-discipline and this willpower though. You still need this discipline, okay? Because I think that with this energy, if it is such one that's moving very, very quick, well, both cards are moving quickly, you need to stay focused on what you need to get done during this time. Okay, this last card is reversed, so it's a very strong, it's a stronger message than the other two cards for you, and this one is the Emperor, Archangel Michael, Michael the Protector, Michael the Warrior, Michael with his flaming sword, Michael with his, you know, with his strength, Michael as the Emperor. You know, the Emperor is, you know, the Emperor is the Emperor, okay? So, organization and logic, structure and discipline. Again, we have this thing about discipline, but also leadership. So, my Pisces, so what this is basically, you know, this is kind of, contradictory to what you like on who you like to be. It's not meaning that you don't have this in you because you actually do have this in you, but you would rather be one of the, you know, you'd rather be the more laid back. You'd rather be the person that's kind of like, you know, the good old buddy, whether you're male or female. But this is telling my Pisces that, you know, hey, Pisces, 
You got to step up to the plate. You got to take the. You got to take ownership. You got to be the leader. You got to go forward, and you got to have discipline because things are going to be moving quickly. And my Pisces are like, oh. But you know what else my Pisces are? My Pisces do step up to the plate. They do take ownership. They do show their leadership. Okay, and they do stay focused and they do stay um, disciplined. So. These are two cool days for you. Now, I have been telling people on some of the other readings that I'm feeling like this is going to be continuing into your May reading. Okay? Okay, so my Pisces, as always, know that you are loved and be blessed. Bye-bye.